Christmas series. Yes, the day has finally arrived. We're showing you the Christmas tree. It's finished, it's complete. I just did some finishing touches on this morning. Did that come out right? Finishing touches on it this morning. And yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys. So what I'm gonna show you on my tree today is past DIYs that I've done during the Christmas series. If you haven't seen them and you see some things on here, go to my DIY playlist. Everything is in there that's on this tree that's obviously handmade. So yeah. Oh, I'm so excited you can see my snitch. Yes, the tree revolves. We went to the range in January and this thing was the next display. <laughs> Matt really wanted a revolving tree and I'm not gonna lie, I do like the idea of it because obviously normally when you're putting your trees up, you don't tend to put things right at the back. And last year with our old tree that didn't revolve, I ended up making it too heavy and the thing ended up tippling. Oh, it was a mess. But yeah, if you wanna see what's on my tree, um, what it looks like then keep on watching and if this is the first time you've seen my face hello and welcome to my channel if you would like to become a potter puppet with us please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video all my social medias are linked in the description of this video go see what i'm up to on those and guys i am trying my hardest to get to my next big milestone of 2000 subscribers so i'd really appreciate you uh hitting that subscribe button and also i want to give a massive thank you to my patreons they help me keep this channel running just that little bit more if you'd like to know any more about patreon that is also linked in the description of this video go check it out if you think it's for you then come join us let's do the tree tour so this guys is the first time i have ever filmed in my living room it's not the best of living rooms you'll have to excuse the paint job when we moved in here um the color was awful and i just put a lick of paint over it we are actually completely ripping this living room out and doing something with it but we can't at the minute anyway on with the tree just to excuse my living room so at the top i have seen this done a lot but i loved the idea of it we have the sorting hat when he revolves round come on here he comes look at him he looks so proud sat on there look and then let's work down the tree so we have my spectra specs this video has also got ideas of things lying around your house some bits of harry potter things you can stick on your tree i definitely definitely recommend doing it because it makes it look so pretty but i hope you get some inspiration from this video so here we have my golden snitch that was made in a recent video we have a potion making book again look on my diy playlist you'll find these we have this icicle there's about i don't know about 10 of these on here there's one baby niffler on my tree and he's actually guarding a diy wand if you can see i do have some diy wand you'll have to go check them out on the diy playlist a ministry of magic bauble that i made what do we have up here we have a ravenclaw bauble there are all four houses that we will get to um, they were from, I want to say Primark, but I can't remember. We have a dirigible plum. I got this from Pony Jukes, but I cannot remember. I am so sorry. I cannot remember who made this. If anybody knows who made these, then let me know in the comments. We have a Ravenclaw diadem necklace. This is really hard to move with the tree. Um, that was actually from Amazon, I want to say. It was just a cheap thing, but I do think it looks pretty nice on the tree. We have some pumpkins dotted about the tree. I thought it was a brilliant idea because Harry Potter and pumpkins. Obviously, we have chocolates on the tree. Um, I have quite a few of these flying keys dotted about that I made. There's the Gryffindor bauble. There's another Gryffindor bauble. We have a Felix Felices that I made. Pickett sat proudly on my tree, bless him. And then, oh, we've got the Triwizard Cup. There's that baby Niffler again. It's the same one. Guarding the wand. No unforgivable per purses. What am I on about? Curses, Niffler. Okay, we'll go further down. We have a quibbler bauble with just bits of paper that I cut up and wrapped around a pencil just to make it twirly. Another icicle, another chocolate. We have Hogwarts A History that I made. Um, oh, we have these little reindeer. Um, I think you got three in a pack. They were from Sainsbury's. They reminded me of Patronuses. So I had to get them. Another chocolate. The Weasley glove that I made out of clay. Another icicle. We have Harry's name out of the Goblet of Fire that I made. 
We have, oh, there's another Niffler, sat next to a little owl. We have another icicle around there. Oh, my days, there is so much on this tree. It's unbelievable. We have a big glittery nine and three quarters bauble. That is from Primark. I remember getting that a while ago. What's this one? Oh, this is the Marauder's Map. I put some little bells on there and some gold trim around the side. Then down here we have our Honey Dukes bauble. Um, that was made last year, but the DIY is on my channel. We've got a howler in a bauble. Yes, I made that howler. How cool is that? I love it so much. Another pumpkin there. They are dotted about these pumpkins. We have another icicle there. I do like that icicle. It's really cute. Then we have round here our Bertie Bot's Every Flavoured Beans bauble. In the back there are some resin jelly beans. I never knew you could get them. Another ice cone, I think I just showed you that one. Phoenix feathers in a barbell, so cute. Another chocolate. The kids don't touch them till Christmas Eve. We don't let them, we're so nasty. Another pumpkin. We've got the quibbler here. Another icicle. Another chocolate. We have another niffler down here. Another icicle, another chocolate. This Slytherin barbell. Right, where are we? Oh, here. We have the Hog um, Hogwarts acceptance letter with Harry's address on there. And then, have I shown you this one yet? No, we have undesirable number one poster with some little bells on the top there, another pumpkin. Down here we have a cauldron that is from a Geek Gear box, another pumpkin, another Patronus. We have the Slytherin bauble that I made round here. And then coming up, coming round is the Hufflepuff bauble. In there we have a golden snitch. I have Harry's glasses look, just lent on the tree. And we have a fake Slytherin locket. Another wand that I made, Wingardium Leviosa. Oh my gosh, the tree's going too fast. And in the back we have a feather there. We have the Ravenclaw bauble that I made. We have the golden egg from a Geek Gear box. I got that from a pass box. Um, a golden, not golden snitch, a flying key and a bauble. I don't know if I showed you the niffler. Is that, that's the fourth niffler though. We have, I attempted to make a remember all. Let me know what you think. I'm not too sure about it. We have a Cornish pixie in the tree. We have a time turner. We have our pumpkin juice that I recently made with some gold and orange uh, tinsel in there. We have a chocolate frog bauble down here. What's this one? I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Down, oh, Hufflepuff. We have you know poo. We have our Veritaserum that was from November Christmas box from Geek Gear, along with the extendable ears from November's Geek Gear box. I absolutely love them. Tales of Beetle the Bard, which I recently made. Another icicle. We have a crochet chocolate frog. Where is my clay one? Oh, we've got the Daily Profit that I made wrapped up in twine on there. We have our little Hedwig in the snow there. We have Luna's Spectra Specs in a bauble with some nice blue and pink tinsel. We've got our Gillyweed up here. I love that one so much. Really, really do. That's fake plant in there again. DIY playlist, you will find it. Oh, we've got the clay chocolate frog that I made. Okay, this is new. I didn't know this was on the tree. Santa, ho, 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 have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's off Jamie. Bless him. We have another beautiful, beautiful flying key in there. That was from a Cherry Wallace box. I can't remember whether it was uh, the, um, the first box she did or the Christmas box she did. I can't remember. I put Bellatrix's dagger from the Geek Gear box up there. There's another flying key. Honestly, this tree is covered in flying keys. I cannot spot them now because I'm concentrating on filming as well. I think, I think we've covered it. Covered it? Covered it. What is wrong with me? That golden snitch though. Come on. It is gorgeous. Oh, there is another Felix Felicis there. They were so fun and simple to make. It was literally just a bought bauble, obviously that shape, and I just printed a Felix Felicis label off and glued it on. 
so yeah guys that's my tree i think we should turn the studio light off so you can see it properly and while i'm at it i might as well show you the whole decorations in the living room because i like to show people them these little guys just wanted to say hello first oh ellie you're so rude hi blue we're showing off the decorations they've been so good i didn't know they were going to be this quiet honestly i thought they were ellie's the worst aren't you kid show you guys is the reef that I made again the DIY is in my DIY playlist definitely go check out how I made this it was so simple to make and it's so effective I absolutely love it I know a lot of you have seen it but uh, I love how that turned out so much so there you have it guys that is my Christmas tree I've never had a Harry Potter tree before and my goal all year has been to have a Harry Potter tree this year. I've always had the odd bits on, quite a lot of Harry Potter, obviously the baubles and things that I made last year were on it, but I really wanted to make the whole thing Harry Potter this year. I wanted magic on my tree this year. I mean, Christmas is magical anyway, but I just wanted the magic that us Harry Potter fans have grown to love on the tree. Let me know what you think to my tree in the comments below. Definitely, 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 if you want to, send me photos of your Harry Potter trees or any Harry Potter ornaments, whether you've made them or it's a special ornament that you found and bought. Let me see them. I love seeing... I love seeing it all. But yeah, that is the end of this video, guys. Please give it a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it helps me more than you know. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Poppets.